Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker reminding you to mind your decisions. You are waiting for your flight to Seattle, and to pass the time, you call three friends in Seattle. You independently ask each one if it is raining. All three of your friends say, yes, it is raining. But each friend lies with probability 1 over 3 and tells the truth with probability 2 over 3. Can you solve for the probability it is actually raining in Seattle? This is adapted from an interview question that was asked at Facebook. Pause the video if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to answer this interview question. So we can get started by drawing a probability tree. One branch will be if it actually is raining in Seattle. Now if all three friends are telling the truth, they will all say yes. This happens with a probability of two-thirds for each friend, and since they're independent, we can multiply the probabilities to get 8 over 27. The other branch will be if it's not raining in Seattle. Now if all three friends are lying, then they will also all say yes. Each friend lies with a probability of one-third, so we end up with the probability of 1 over 27 that all three are lying. We now want to calculate the probability of each branch. But there's a problem. We need to know the probability that it rains in Seattle. This information was intentionally omitted from the interview question. Unlike a textbook problem where all the information is given to you, the interviewer wants to know, can you do more than solve textbook problems? I'll mention that many people thank me for covering such problems, saying Mind Your Decisions videos have helped them get high-paying tech and finance jobs. So what you're supposed to do at this point is ask the interviewer for the probability. The interviewer might tell you that it's 25%, or they might tell you to solve for the general case that the probability of rain is equal to P. So let's solve for the general case. We'll write the probability of rain is equal to P, so the probability that it does not rain is 1 minus p. We can now calculate the probability of each branch by multiplying the respective probabilities. The top branch will be 8p all over 27, and the bottom branch will be 1 minus p all over 27. The chance that it is actually raining is the probability of the top branch divided by the sum of these two probabilities. Now we can also rewrite these probabilities in terms of conditional probability. This will allow us to express the answer a little bit more formally using Bayes' rule. The probability that it's actually raining, given that all three people say yes, will be determined by this formula. We substitute in the values that we calculated, and then we're going to simplify. Notice that the 27s cancel out, and we're left with the formula 8p all over 7p plus 1. And that's the answer. I think this is a wonderful interview question. Many applicants will have the technical skills to solve a probability problem like this. But how many will have the courage to ask for missing information? Thanks for watching and for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.